Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Sunday, I think. Yes, it's Sunday. I definitely just got out of bed. I set alarm for 9 30 because I was like, 9 30 is an acceptable time to get out of bed without being too lazy. And then when that came along, I turned it off and set one for 10. So it is currently 10 10. I have my breakfast drink here. I see a strudel coming. And um, <laughs> that's interesting. Is she coming on her own? There she is. Anyways, I'm still in my PJs, so I'm gonna change here in a minute and then I'm gonna do laundry because it's not raining at the moment. So I'm hoping that means it's gonna stay decent so I can get my laundry done. So once I'm done that, I'm gonna change and do the things. All right, I'm feeling super gross right now. Like I desperately need to shower, but my laundry is in. So I think I'm gonna wait till that is done so I can then put on clean clothes. Like, I mean, what I'm wearing is clean, save this sweater because I only brought two sweaters, I had to wash one. <laughs> um, and then I'll probably shower when that's done. So I've got about an hour. I have just been sitting here doing more research on um, CPUs. <laughs> I am, this is boring, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm torn between the Ryzen 5 3600, <laughs> the Ryzen 7 2700X, and the Ryzen 7 3700. <laughs> They're all so close to each other. And so comparable, I'm leaning towards going seven because it um, would be able to process like my editing and stuff easier, I think. Cause like the difference for gaming and everything, especially cause I don't play really high end games, probably shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, so I've just been looking at comparisons between the three of them, between two of them, whatever, for quite a while. But <laughs> it's still not raining, which is nice. It's quite cold outside though. Um, and I think I mentioned it last night. My boss sent me an email and was like, mm, we're not going to town on Monday anymore. Um, so you'll just have to hang out. <laughs> like maybe you can come see my tree, come over and visit. <laughs> and then today I emailed back and I was like, oh, I mean, regardless of if you don't go, like I'll do laundry today. And if we <laughs> do go, then bonus clean socks. <laughs> and he's like, and, and then what did I say? I said, oh, visiting what a novel concept maybe i can like squeeze you into my busy schedule <laughs> what time works for you and then he messaged back and he's like oh one of the other bosses might be going to town tomorrow so i still might be going to town tomorrow <laughs> and um <laughs> then he was like oh 4 30 and i was like okay i think i can fit you in between sitting on the couch and sitting at the table <laughs> uh, it was funny to me <laughs> telling it it's probably not as funny anyways i'm just gonna continue to chill research this and um i should probably clean at some point and also i need to cook at some point but i'm probably gonna wait until after my laundry's done to cook i should probably clean beforehand though because i need some of those dishes because like i mentioned i have like the cast iron frying pan which is great but it's like the only good one so i used it last night when i made us pork chops so i gotta use it again today okay i'm rambling I'm making no sense. I'm just going to be here researching for ages. And I should probably transfer some footage too. That could be a thing. Oh my God, is it almost getting sunny? That's like almost sun out there. Almost. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. Sorry, I'm not perfect, but I knew that I wouldn't be I guess it's for the best, you know, the worst in me So my breakfast buddy messaged me at like the worst possible time um, There we go to see if I wanted to go up to the bluff and I'm like I literally just put food in the oven <sighs> and I was like, I can be done at like 2.30. And she's like, oh, that's too late. <laughs> and then my boss and everyone came over and I was like, yeah, it's still gonna eat. So I'm willing this to eat or to finish cooking. It's just about done. Ah, um, cause my boss just came over and was like, well, I'd be willing to go up if you wanna go up. Um, he's like, I was like, okay, I just need to cram this in my face pretty much, so. <laughs> Uh, give it like two more minutes <laughs> and then I'm just gonna eat it which I will likely regret if we're going on a hike but whatever it's fine okay I'm gonna go cuz food <laughs> 
The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Cause I get up And I may fall right back down But your love lifts me back to solid ground Yeah, I get up Alrighty, I am back and hopefully you just saw some really amazing footage from the top of the bluff. Wow, that view. The trail, um, my breakfast buddy brought up the GoPro when she went. Um, <laughs> so she said she tried to hyperlapse it or time warp it and she said it <coughs> could be just her falling a lot. <laughs> but yeah, it was beautiful. It was a nice hike until you get to like, there's this one part where it's like kind of dangerous and then it's just kind of all uphill from there. But it was beautiful. I had to completely change my outfit. Thank God I just did laundry so everything was nice and clean to get so dirty again. Um, but yeah, it was so nice. It was so pretty up there. It's only, I would say, round trip, like 45 minutes, which is about how long it takes to get, well, slow people to get to the Big Cedar. I, I've done the Big Cedar loop in like 20, 22 minutes before. But yeah, it was really nice. It's currently like 20 after four. I'm due at my other boss's house at 4.30. So I'm just trying to like hydrate and not smell like a forest as much as possible. Thankfully, I brought my nail file and so I was able to clean like most of the dirt out from under my nails. <sighs> and then just, you know, have a little bit of energy. <laughs> um, but it should be good. And I think I have a strudel passed out on the porch here. Yeah, she was she was tired. She came all the way up. Well, she went up with the kids and with my breakfast buddy and with Millie. And then Millie, just so much energy. Even after the hike, she was still like, let's play, let's play, let's play. Um, so I think Strudel's a little knackered. Um, so she's just having a nap. I, I had her inside. She did not want to be inside. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. It was nice. I enjoyed it. And it wasn't like I'm a little bit, a lot of bit out of shape right now. Well, maybe not a lot of it. I'm a little bit out of shape right now. And I didn't find that it was a struggle. My biggest, I mean, my legs did get a little bit sore when you're going straight up. The biggest issue was not knowing what was safe to grab and not knowing what was safe to put your feet on. And also it's not like a complete, complete trail yet because they still haven't figured out exactly the way they want to go at the very end. So there's definitely like a lot of bushwhacking, but overall good. Did manage to wreck one of the propellers on my drone, but it was after I got some shots. So hopefully all is well. And then I got a really nice panorama from the top. I suppose I could insert it, but I probably won't. But yeah, look at that. It's very nice. You probably would have seen the view already. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish slamming both beverages that I have there, I think, and then get ready to pop over. I stuck my um, boots in front of the fire in hopes that they will dry out in like the next five minutes. <laughs> Fortunately, the house I'm going to is like, can you see it from here? I bet you, maybe. Oh, Strudel disappeared. It's, it's not the red one, but there's a house in between. <laughs> So it's not too far where I need to go to. So even if my feet get a little damp in between, it'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I will check in with you after my visit. Oh, Strudel's coming back. <laughs> okay, so it's currently like 20 to nine. I end up being at my boss's house from 4.30 to 7.30. We're just hanging out chatting. Departure day changed like 16 more times. I think it's Wednesday now, unless they have to go to the vet for an emergency for Millie because she's got like some like rash here. She's not bothered by it at all. Like I was poking it. She did not care. Um, and like, so I think it's fine. So I think it's Wednesday. I don't know, but Strudel's mom is still out. So I have a Strudes here with me just living her best life. Yes, she is. Oh yes, she's so good. Yes, she is. And then I'm cooking myself dinner. I got a steak there and some roasted potatoes in there. <laughs> Super late dinner tonight, but that's kind of been my MO for today, just eating late. 2.30 lunch, 
8 30 probably nine o'clock dinner that's so late anyways that's where at that's the update um i don't know what i'm gonna do after dinner probably not probably bring strudel back home is probably what i'll do but we will see if her mom shows up, I can just release her to go outside. So who knows? I'm hoping if I leave my boots by the fire overnight that they'll be maybe kind of dry tomorrow. They're the only shoes I brought and it has just been so wet. And like yesterday they got, was it yesterday? Yeah, they got kind of wet when me and my breakfast buddy were wondering about. And then today they just, they had no hope. <laughs> I did put them by the fire last night, and even though it doesn't go on until it gets like, I would say like 20, 19 degrees in here, um, it, I think it made a difference, so hopefully tomorrow they'll be okay. I think it's supposed to storm tomorrow though, to be honest, so I'll probably just stay in the cabin all day unless I spot somebody going to the store. I told my boss, my bosses when I was over there, I was like, I missed that one. I was like, and then I didn't see that one, and they're like, you don't have a bell because they have like um, a doorbell in the house. They're like, you don't have a bell, so <laughs> how can you know? I was like, fair enough. So anyways, I think I'm just gonna be here. I did, I said, if they need any help, let me know. And my one boss was like, oh really? And I was like, I don't like that look. So <laughs> we'll see, but hopefully tomorrow I'll just be chilling. Don't have to edit because this is a two day vlog. And um, may maybe I'll write, oh my God, I was so annoying on, I was editing um, January's first vlog today. And I was so annoying because I kept just being like, maybe I'll write, maybe I'll be right. And I was like, you suck because you didn't even pull out the notebook. But let's be annoying. Maybe tomorrow I will write. We shall see. Anyways, it is currently 1130. I think I'm going to move my laptop into my room here shortly. I've got everything else all set up nice and cozy. I think I need to do laundry again tomorrow because... Oh my God, the clothes that I went through today on that trail. So we'll see because like I still have a pair of pants that I can wear, but then I'd have to wear it for like two, I guess it's only two more days. And I only wear them for like half a day today and I will be going to town on Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see how I feel tomorrow because my sweatshirt could definitely use a wash too, the one that, because I washed this one today. Anyways, we'll see. <laughs> I'm rambling for no reason. I'm going to go to sleep here shortly. So with that, thanks for coming along today. And I will see you when we continue this on. <laughs> Better lighting <laughs> tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, super cool party people. And welcome to... January 3rd, it is quarter after 11. I've had a very lazy morning in part because of this one here. This strudel, wow, that is so overexposed. There she is. Oh my goodness, she is so cute. I woke up and I was just chilling, having a good time and she showed up and she came in and then I laid on the couch with this blanket on me with a strudel on top of me and it was glorious. She can say it's been a pretty good morning because I'm still in my PJs. Um, I think today, I don't know, maybe I will edit the footage from yesterday um, so then so then when I have everything here, it's just the, the, the one day. <laughs> oh my goodness, try that again. I might edit the footage from yesterday, so to finish the vlog, because I'm doing two-day vlogs, I'll only have to edit what I have today, which honestly I don't think will be much, because I don't think I'm going to leave the house. I will get dressed, because <laughs> that is a thing I should do, um, but other than that, I'm just going to chill, I think, and it's going to be great. So I haven't even moved my computer to the table yet, like, I'm just going slow. I figure by noon. If I can get dressed by noon, that will be good. But yeah, that's where we're at. Just wanted to finally start the vlog, or I mean, I guess start today's portion of the vlog. Um, it's so much easier daily vlogging, I think. Anyways, I'm gonna go for now, and I will see you later. <laughs> well, hello again. I've actually been pretty productive. I will say, I paid some bills. Like, that's exciting. I, um, downloaded a couple of the sewing patterns that I bought like Black Friday-ish, um, and then I sent them to a place that will print them for me on like proper size sheets so I don't have to print them all myself and tape them all together and cut them all out. I just have to cut them when I get them, so that's really exciting. Um, it's like $5 a sheet, which honestly 
is really a great price, I think, especially when you consider having to pay for the ink and the paper and the tape and the time. <laughs> so that's really exciting. I printed off four. Um, which ones were they? Let me find out. So one is like a little cape with like a hood that like comes down to like here, I think, which I think will be super fun. Um, one was a pair of pants. Um, which can be shorts, capris, or pants, which I think is very exciting. I also printed a pattern for a cardigan with a hood and then um, a jumper, like a skirt jumper, which is like so exciting because I want to make something like that forever. And I found the pattern. I was like, yes, yeah. so that's exciting. And then at some point after I get them, I will... Um, whatchamacallit, I will go to the fabric store, but I very awesomely have a gift card to the fabric store from my auntie, so that is great. My auntie and her boyfriend, so that's awesome. So that's something to look forward to. I need to finish my pajama shirt first, so that's my own personal caveat on that. And then I emailed my grandma and told her what I was up to out here, and then also, I th I'm pretty sure I mentioned that she has a friend who's willing to sell her serger to me, and so I was like, I've done some research. This is an older serger, but if she says it works, I 100% trust her and let's do it. So hopefully she'll email me back and I can just, I guess, transfer her money and she can transfer it on and then a friend can leave it at her house, I think, minimize contact. So yeah, I potentially just bought a serger today. And now <laughs> on top of all that, I am working on the February intro. Look at me go. It is, I've been working out for quite a while. It is 112 at the moment. All I've done today is the things I just mentioned, but cuddle strudel and work on this mostly. So that's where we're at. It's a relatively nice day. Like it's not currently raining. It was raining earlier. So maybe I'll go out in a bit. I'm still trying to decide if I want to do a load of laundry because everything I was wearing yesterday on that hike to the bluff just got destroyed. Um, and if I'm going to work on Wednesday, after I get into town, I probably want to wear my a pair of sweatpants. I usually wear my black sweatpants to work because I feel, I don't know. I just feel like they're more professional looking. I don't know. Anyways, that's where we're at. I am, I'm doing stuff, which is exciting. I've got a list here of a few more things I need to do, but overall we're doing all right. So yay me. Windows wide, the curtains fly to catch the evening breeze. Without you here to keep me warm, believe I'd rather freeze. Believe I'd rather freeze. Okay, I decided to do some running around. Um, I want to go drop off my recycling. I forgot my phone. And I think I am going to put on laundry, but I'm going to come back for that because the recycling is there and it's going to be a pain. And then my friend who is working up here, he asked me to grab something from his stuff that is still here. It's like <laughs> January. He hasn't been here since October. <laughs> it's fine. And you cry to see a shadow babe It's growing long Cross along Another song Tuesday night, it's 3 a.m. I ought to be asleep. If only I could tell you all about the dreams I keep. Or about the dreams I keep. I wake up every morning and I'm wasted all the day. I turn it all around if I could only hear you say that you were here to stay. When the sky said the winter time is coming on And you cry to see a shadow babe It's growing long Across the line Another song
Sometimes in my silence before the city glow. Alrighty, I'm up in the laundry suite. I've got my friend's two things that he said he needed out of his stuff. Like, that's his tote, and that's his stuff there, but, and I think that's his fishing gear there, tackle, but he's gonna be back. <laughs> that's his intention, at least, unless he gets his tests and the doctor's like, no, you cannot work. I'm like really close, I know, but I'm trying to close things. All right, it's a very peaceful day today. Beautiful out here. <sighs> it's nice to get outside if even for a minute, but I'm not gonna try to talk while going down these stairs because they are slippery because they are wet. I will die. So I'll check in with you hopefully when I'm back at the cabin and continue to work on my February intro. We're at the point of compiling it now, so that's exciting. Well, hello, it has been a while. It is now dark out as you can see. I finished my February intro, which was super exciting. Um, I think it's like six, almost six, um, just after six. And I'm making myself some taco meat. Super exciting here. Oh yes, yes, just boiling off or cooking off the water. And I will consume that soon and then I need to clean up. Um, tomorrow I am leaving, which is like crazy. I feel like, I, or not tomorrow, the next day I'm leaving. Tomorrow I need to do all the packing. And then we have a girls night tomorrow night, I think too, which is very exciting. So I definitely need to have my house cleaned by then because like right now, we are not looking good. I haven't done the dishes for like two days, but it's fine. So yeah, that's where we're at. It's been a pretty productive day for me. Got a blog post, got a vlog edit it, got the intro done, can't complain. Anyways, I'm gonna go now because I don't wanna burn that because I wanna eat that. And I will check in with you later with maybe more updates, I don't know. We were running through the fields, you had flowers in your hand We were all chasing phantoms Maybe you would hold them still and i grab them, yeah Well if you're scared of the dark Let the run down street lights be your stars And then picture swings in the park And I'll swing with you Sing it Alrighty, so I just took some much needed time to clean. Usually I've been cleaning the next, okay, the first day I got here, I cleaned my dishes and everything that night, but since then it's been like the next day or the next evening, afternoon, anything but immediately after. So the kitchen is nice and clean. I even swept because I shed a lot and the dogs come in here and they shed slash they bring in the outside slash I bring in the outside. So we are now good tomorrow night. Uh, we're gonna have a girls night here. Um, I think everyone's coming. I'm just not sure about my boss that lives next door over there. I have sent out an email invitation. So yeah, I've been like super productive. Um, I edited yesterday's vlog already too, which is exciting. I created my invoice for doing uh, inventory. I just have to send that, but I'll send it tomorrow. And um, yeah, like really productive evening I've had here. I might even slowly start to pack if I feel so inclined, but it is quarter to nine and who really needs to be productive at this point of the night? Me, it's me. I definitely need to be productive usually at this time of the night. So we'll see, but maybe I can find a movie or something to watch that catches my fancy. We shall see. There's uh, also supposed to be another storm coming through tonight. Like all our water taxi runs tomorrow got canceled because I think because of the weather. And um, so everybody's gonna be here tomorrow, which will be nice. But yeah, they're supposed to have, I think, 70 to 90 kilometer an hour winds, which is insane. So I have, I highly suspect that I will be here all day tomorrow, but it's fine because I do have to pack and I'm gonna check invoicing because I haven't touched invoicing since before Christmas. Yeah, I think, cause my boss did it on the 24th. Um, and so the last time I did invoicing was the 20th of December, because he did it on the 24th. There was nothing to do the following Sunday, and then he did it on the last day of the month. So, and I didn't look at it yesterday. Well, I did. There was only one water taxi thing that would have to be billed, so I just kind of left it. But I'll take a look at it tomorrow, because I think I can 
probably do all the first aid holds and stuff. So they'll give me something to do. And then, yeah, other than that, I'm like pretty caught up, just gotta pack. And I could write, but I'm not gonna. Anyways, I'm gonna go for now, see what I can figure out to do. Hopefully nothing. I am on top of the world right now. So I'm sure I've mentioned it a few times before, but back in November, I bought these um, like flat pack uh, boxes so I could ship embroidery stuff in them. And I only got a sample pack so I could see what the sizes were. And I couldn't remember the company I bought them from for the life of me. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to Google. It's based out of Victoria, BC. I tried adding that to it. I could not find it for the life of me. Nothing I could think of could work for it. I knew their um, Fangirl Fabrics is the girl that initially mentioned it. And so I was like, oh, worst case scenario, I can DM her and I'm sure she would remember and let me know. But I'm like, I can't find my receipt. I didn't bookmark it because I'm an idiot. Well, I've just been going through some old uh, thumbnails because why not? And I got to this one. I was like, wait a minute. That's the packaging from <laughs> those boxes and so I checked November 10th and 11th so then I went to my vlogs and I pulled it up and like I scrolled ahead and I found it and I got right like right here and I paused it <laughs> and I could just I think a little bit further back I could just see it said slot box there so close this I googled slot box and bam, that's where I ordered it from. Yes. <laughs> Vlogging every day sometimes really pays off. So I'm going to bookmark this right now before I forget. I might actually order some as well. Um, I should actually watch that vlog and see what sizes worked for me. I think the small worked for the three inch ones, but I think the medium didn't work for the five inch ones. Anyways, this is so exciting. I can't even tell you how exciting this is. <laughs> like, it's way up there. Other than that, I mean that, ah, I can't, so exciting. Uh, earlier today, I ordered some more fabric. <laughs> I blamed my breakfast buddy because like, as I was like paying for it, she came in on the boat and I went down. I'm like, this is your fault. If you had been here like 20 minutes earlier, I wouldn't have ordered it. I probably still would have gone on, but. Who knows? So I ordered some more fabric. I also bought a couple more sewing patterns because uh, I've got problems basically is where we're at, but I might order some of these. We'll see. It looks like she's pretty low on stock right now, but we shall see. Anyways, I'm jazzed. I am so excited about life right now. And I think I'm gonna transfer my March footage while I'm here anyways. Um, and I've got my external hard drive hooked up because then I can start working on the March intro at some point. But yeah, successful day. I would say so. If, if if anybody asked me, like this cherry. That was clean earlier, and then I had to transfer footage and charge a battery, so huh, I am freezing. I just cranked up the fire because I put it down to 68 degrees, and it's so cold outside, and I'm by the window, and the sliding glass door has is like double pane, but those ones aren't, and so it just gets so cold. I think it's like three degrees or something outside. Oh, so cold. There's, like I said, there's supposed to be a storm coming. <laughs> you can't see a thing outside. It's just pitch black. Nothing to see. Anyways, I cranked up the fire and I put on two because I was like, I was shaking. Um, and I moved the radiator into here. So this will heat up my room, which will be nice. I'm going to change my PJs here real soon. It's like quarter to 11. But I've kind of been as productive as I can be today. And the only thing that I'll do if I continue to stay at my computer pretending to work is I'll just be like, oh, what other like sewing things or computer things can I buy? And I, unnecessary. <laughs> um, so I think actually I may just chill by the fire for a bit, or not chill, hopefully, uh, warm by the fire for a bit. And then I'm watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine up there. Such a great movie. <laughs> and by movie, I mean show. <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna warm up here for a bit and then I'll change my PJs. I'll probably climb to bed because I'll be warmer in bed and I can watch Psych there. So that's where we're at. I think, I guess I'll probably end the vlog now. Maybe let's move so we have slightly better lighting. <laughs> I will end the vlog now because like, like I said, it's almost 11 and I'm not gonna do anything else tonight. And then tomorrow we'll start a fresh one for my last day here. Hopefully something exciting will happen and and my adventure back to town the following day so anyways i'm gonna go 
to sleep. Thank you for coming along for the Thank you for coming along for these last two days. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Thank you.